duck, flank. Easy orders to give when you're way behind the front line. Windows coming up. Great. We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what, disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey, take it easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spick! You killed my son! Dig! Now! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I of all people knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Grave Digger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! I had bought some time, but credit was running out. I had to act before the final foreclosure. Looks good enough to me! Follow me.
the morgue. How appropriate. These hitmen getting to you? Keep it together! The morgue. How appropriate. if I ain't had enough guns pointed at me without you joining in. This looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait.
Hey, let's find that phone. Make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Let me just call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob out there. So, uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out, I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub, the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Anyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. Oh. 